In this video, we're gonna talk about converting an RX-8 to LPG. How it works, how much money can you save, the effects on the engine, and much, much more. For more RX-8 fixes, maintenance, and mods, feel free to check out my channel and subscribe. A special thanks goes to Tomislav Kocet, to Yorgos from Greece, and to John from Velvet Pedals in Greece. One of the best guitar pedal shops you'll ever come across. So for all you musicians, I'll put the link to it in the description. Let's start with the hard questions. How much does an LPG conversion cost? Well, the cost ranges from 1000 to 3000 euros or 1100 to 3300 dollars. With that said, how long does an LPG install last? Conversions take about two days or more. Anything less is not good as you have to drive the car on the road to tune it properly. How much money can we save on fuel with the LPG conversion? Well, we can expect savings between 30 and 40 percent. While running on LPG only, the consumption of it is about 10 to 15 percent higher than the one of gasoline. The benefit here is that the price of LPG is half of the one of normal gasoline. The range you can expect depends on your selection of LPG tank, but in general, 35 liters of LPG gives a range of around 230 kilometers. So a full tank of LPG and a full tank of petrol can give you a combined range of around 800 kilometers or 500 miles. But if you don't drive your RX-8 that much, then it's not worth the expense of fitting LPG. If you daily drive it, then it's definitely worth it. Hey Dream by Madness, Christian. So I'll show you my car which runs on LPG which is also imported from UK. So here goes. So basics on LPG, you put in your key, here's the button, I turn the key, automatically turns on. So now I'll show you how my car starts on LPG. You crank it on petrol, here it's already on standby. And if you're ever just a little bit over 1000, you hear the click. And it's running on LPG right now. I will show you how the car accelerates. And right now it's a nice and easy ride. So, I can understand why a lot of people are against it, because a car like this it should run on petrol, something vulgar, and not on LPG, because it's something to use in your kitchen or on a camping, but it's the best of both worlds, because when you're driving like this, you don't really need the power of the petrol, you might as well just waste it on what even the petroleum industry considered as waste. And then when you just step on a gas, you can just get the power of the petrol and get the best of both worlds, you know? You get economy and power. This was my LPG8, so thank you and I will see you in Slovenia when I come over for vacation this year. Cheers! So let's talk power. With the LPG conversion, will the car gain, lose or have the same power? The answer depends on the type of system you choose and there are three types to choose from. A system that uses both gasoline and LPG at the same time, depending on load and RPM you get exactly the same power. The cost of it is around 1200 euros. A system that uses only LPG in gaseous state, this will have less power than gasoline and it costs from 1000 to 1500 euros. And a system that uses liquid LPG, you get more power than gasoline but it costs 3000 euros. With all these liquids and gases getting carried around, our LPG systems safe. Well, yes, they are perfectly safe, as there are valves and security measures required by law. Also, depending on the state, it's required that every couple of years your LPG system needs to be checked to make sure it's an optimal operating condition. How demanding and costly is LPG maintenance? Well, the amount of maintenance depends on the system you choose. The gaseous state filter gets changed every 10,000 kilometers or 6,000 miles and the liquid state filter every 20,000 kilometers or 12.5 thousand miles. You should service the injectors every 30,000 kilometers or 18.6 thousand miles. The gaseous state filter costs between 10 and 20 euros. 
the liquid state filter around 20 euros and the injectors from 30 to 90 euros. All of this sounds pretty good, but will the rotary engine have any side effects from the LPG conversion? Well, if tuned correctly, no side effects should occur at all. But how about long term effects on the engine? Will it last as long as the one that uses only gasoline? To answer that, a properly tuned LPG system should increase the durability of the rotary engine due to cleaner burning. Also, LPG does not mix with oil, so it does not affect the oil film inside a housing. With that said, an LPG rotary should last much longer than a gasoline one. And yes, you'd still get carbon buildup, but much much less. So to conclude the list, what are the pros and cons of LPG on an RX-8? Well, the pros are cheaper running costs and less carbon buildup. The cons are more weight to carry due to the LPG tank in the trunk. The weight of the tank can also affect how the car handles on track. You cannot premix with full gaseous or full liquid systems, but you can premix with a system that uses both gasoline and LPG at the same time. And with that, we can conclude this video. Remember to give it a like and let me know in the comments what do you think about LPG conversions and would you install it on your car. And also, don't forget to subscribe and check out more RX-8 videos on my channel.